Obama got back in the game a bit this week. He had lunch with his former VP, Joe Biden, on Monday. And yesterday, he released his endorsements of 81 candidates in the midterm elections. The Democratic Socialist, who's been making headlines, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, didn't make the list, but he says there'll be more to come. Everybody happy now that he said something? Everybody's been saying, why isn't he talking? Why is he talking? <laughs> well, this will probably, this will probably provoke uh, uh, Agent Orange to come out and talk, bring oh out the birth, the birth of syndrome again. He'll start uh -oh. talking because he gets jealous. <laughs> don't give him, <laughs> Lord, don't give so him any funny. ideas. <laughs> We're so funny, Nick. You know, it's like he, he, every time Obama uh, speaks or something, uh, Trump gets jealous. You know, and he'll That's start. That's true. Yeah, he'll say. Yeah. That is uh, true. Really quick, they were at Joe Biden and President Obama were at Tag Dog Bakery, which mm -hmm. is this bakery in Washington, yeah. uh, run and employed by veterans. Amazing, also amazing place to go and eat. Just, I just want to give it a shout out. So yeah. happy that's where they decided to take their outing. I, I think this was that was a very intentional photo yeah. op, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you look at it. Um, Joe Biden is sort of in the front, and Obama is sort of in the back, circling him. I, so I wonder if that's a, or almost a semi-announcement for Joe Biden. And the other thing that I thought was interesting with uh, President Obama's endorsements, I think his endorsements matter. Um, the Democrats only need 23 seats to wrest control of the House from Republicans and two seats to gain the majority in, in the Senate. And um, I'm, I'm curious as to why he left out Ocasio-Cortez, because yeah. she's running under this platform of she's, but Democratic isn't her Socialism. Kind of a landslide. Right. It's, I think safe. it's... In her you district. You think that's what it is? In her district. Yeah. I think it was... Safe. So he doesn't need to endorse yeah. her. I mean, that's right. It's like, I want. think you can interpret it in many different ways. Yeah. My interpretation is that he's not ready to give his endorsement to the socialist wing of the party quite yet, yeah. which I 100% understand. Also, if we are going to maybe read the tea leaves of them together, I don't know if it's an announcement, but Joe Biden is a big person that people are talking about running yes. for president. Yeah. He is not a socialist. He's not in that vein at all. Mm -hmm. I would debate he's a hell of a lot more electable than anyone who is. And it would be an interesting conundrum for the Obamas to be in if he ran for president against an up-and-comer socialist. Because yes. at yeah. a certain point, Valerie Jarrett came on here and she was like, we're a big tent party. We're a big tent party. That's great, but at a certain point, you will pick one nominee. And one nominee yeah. will represent I just, well, they Democrat tried that, or regular. Right? Because Bernie tried this. Yes. You know. The, the Democratic Socialism. I yeah. just hope the memes yeah. come back. Those two are awesome oh, online. The romance <laughs> is wonderful. It is real. I yeah. miss them. They love each other. A lot of people say that yes. Bernie, if he had been the candidate, would have won. Even though he was a I, Democrat. No, I don't, I don't think, think so. he, I don't think I don't he would have won. won. Because no. listen, he, he had, people... Excuse me, he had populist appeal, which is what Trump He has. had populist mm. appeal, but, you know, the reality of socialism in this country is one that we don't really discuss much of. And as people are now starting to emerge, I want to know more about what you're running against. I don't want you coming in and running on a platform you don't believe in. I want you to be who you are, because I'm going to vote for you who you are. I'm going to vote for what you say you want to see done. The problem when, you know, someone says, well, are you a Democrat? So, well, not, no, I'm a, I'm a Democratic Socialist, but I'm a Socialist. Be, a so be who you are. Well, see, well, that's just the thing. When she came here, I, I, I am also um, concerned about this. You know, what, what does socialism look like here in the United States? But her platform sounded kind of mainstream. You, Med Medicare for all, wait, wait, universal yeah. jobs guarantee, fully funded public schools, paid family and sick leave, housing as a human right, justice system reform. So what's but that doesn't seem she, so out there Because she to me. keeps completely biffing. And if you watch her clip from The Daily Show, she can't explain how we're going to pay for it, which is also Bernie Sanders' problem. Yep. And at yeah. a certain point, the, I mean, everybody wants health care for, I mean, everyone, if we had yeah. the mm -hmm. means to in mm -hmm. every way. And by the way, discussing socialism on this show triggers everybody in the world, me being against it. I mean, having our heated discussion that we had last week, I get that there are people in this country that are for it. I'm 100% against it. And until, pe like Bernie Sanders says, Medicare for All plan would cost $32.6 over 10 years, according to G George Mason, Mer excuse me, Center. Mm -hmm. And I just believe that at a certain point, if you want this platform, that's fine. Explain how we're going to pay for it. And if everyone who's for it, you have to pay the 70% or 80 percent in taxes that they are proposing. I, know, well, then, I don't know if you have everything right there, Megan. A lot of these countries this, have similar stats, tax rates that we have, and they're able to do a lot of that. It's European countries well, that yeah. in no well, way... Canada are, has uh, Medicare in no for all. Way. But Canada that's has one part no. of her platform. What she just said, I mean, yeah. so say it again. It is, Medicare there's, for all, which I think <clears> most people college. do agree with. I I universal you have, jobs. Do you believe that health care is a, is a privilege of some sort, or is it a guarantee? I believe that there's a reason why people in Canada come 
come to this country to get better health care. In Arizona, where I'm from, we Sometimes. call them snowbirds because yeah. the quality is better. And no one can explain to me how the quality would ultimately suffer. Do I want people to, in this country, not be able to have health care when they're sick or, God forbid, get brain cancer? I'm the first person to admit my perspective on this exponentially shifted when my father got sick. Yes. That being said, no one can explain to me how we're going to be able to pay for it and the quality won't Can suffer. I tell you something? I think it's I a know human people, right. I think health care is a human who, right. I have friends that no, matter. We're, really having, do. You know, we're having a debate. Right. We're having a debate really right now. Do. And I, I think the problem with this is don't paint me out to be, and it's very complicated on this show, I'm just trying to talk about the realities of what it's going to cost. It's not that my heart doesn't open, I just admitted on national television that my perspective changed after my father got sick. Yeah. But don't sit here and say, I believe, I believe yeah, in all they, these ways, the because, 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 because it makes said, me seem compassionless, I'm and I am not. Okay. Hey, hey, I am hey, realistic hey. about what it costs. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. No, but your, I understand what day. Did you Thank throw you. a paper clip? I just threw a paper clip, because you said not to ring the bell. I oh like the bell. It's your last day. What I was going to say is I totally understand what you're saying, Megan, because I also believe health care should be for all. But when they don't spell out the how, I think that's what Bernie was running into. Well, we talked about what, it with yeah, Vermont, that's is the, that that's the everyone can get on board with the great ideals, but how are you going to pay for that? And we'll be right back. Okay.